Hello, good morning. Uh, so today the topic is how not to get started today and achieve results. So um, actually, as you have guessed, the topic is uh, procrastination. So I was going to do this video um, yesterday, but <laughs> I, I never got around to it. Um, actually, I just wanted to prove a point. But uh, that's the way I am. I like making jokes. Um, but anyway, so I'd like to start off with a, a few little funny things. He who hesitates is last, which is true. If you put off things for too long, you never get anywhere. Um, if and when we're planted and nothing grew, which again is true. If you keep, well, thinking if I do this or I'm going to wait, right, and you keep putting things off, it's going to take a while to get anywhere. So as usual, I'm gonna start off with a few quotes and then I'm gonna go into some reasons why we procrastinate. And some of these might amaze you and I've done all of these myself. Um, so the habit of always putting off an experience until you can afford it or until the time is right or until you know how to do it is one of the greatest burglars of joy. Be deliberate. But once you've made up your mind, jump in. That's Charles R. Swindle. Procrastination makes easy things hard and hard things harder. Mason Cooley. And that is very true, right? If you keep putting things off, um, you sort of get tense and nervous and apprehensive. And then, and then you're just a wreck, right? Um, so it's better to do it right away. You may, be, you may delay, but time will not, and lost time is never found again. And that's Benjamin Franklin. So unless you're a time lord or something like that, you're, you're not, you know, you hit the day and that's it, right? It's gone. Uh, so procrastination is one of the most common and deadliest of diseases, and its toll on success and happiness is heavy. That's Wayne Gretzky. Uh, I like this one. Procrastination is a lot of, is a lot like a credit card. It's a lot of fun until you get the bill. Uh, Christopher Parker. Um, I'd be more frightened by not using whatever abilities I'd be given. I'd be more frightened by procrastination and laziness. That's Denzel Washington. Okay, so when you think of procrastination, most people think, you know, laziness, but yeah, that's a small part of it. Like there are people who are just downright lazy and they, they don't want to do anything, right? They think society owes them. Or there could be other things, you know, but um, that's just one little factor. But there's a whole bunch more. Um, so there's a little blurb here from Dr. Timothy Pickle, P-Y-C-H-Y-L. And he wrote in Psychology Today, if we have internalized unrealistic standards and are plagued with self-doubt and prone to self-criticism, we're more likely to avoid our work, to avoid what we believe is inevitable failure. Okay, so you might put off stuff because you don't want to fail, which brings me to one of the seven points, perfectionism. Um, you don't want to get started till everything is perfect. I know I've done this in the past. I put off doing things for months and months and months uh, because I wanted to get it perfect, right? And you never do it. You never do it, okay? I've been trying to learn how to type since I was 18. It's almost 40 years and I still haven't learned how to type, right? Um, it's not something I really need now. So, um, but anyway, um, so why do we, why do we have this perfection? Because we're afraid of failing, right? We're afraid of looking back. At least for myself, I know that. I know that now I've had to do a lot of research on it. But when you try to get everything just perfect, um, it's because you're afraid of actually 
maybe looking bad, right? And there's a great quote by Zig Ziglar, you don't have to be great to be started, but you have to start to be great. Okay, so perfectionism, that's the number one. Um, number two, you don't want to leave your comfort zone or the fear of the unknown, right? Um, so if you have like, um, let's take your taxes or something and, you, and you're afraid you might owe money. So you don't want to do it because you know you owe, might owe money, right? That's a sort of minor one. Um, public speaking, maybe maybe you have a chance to um, speak somewhere and a friend approaches you, hey, you know, you've got it all together. Would you mind doing a speech in front of our group? I think they can really benefit from your knowledge and you go, well, I'll check my schedule and I'll get around to it, right? Well, and then you put it off because you're afraid of talking in front of that group of people, right? That's another instance. Um, or maybe uh, you, you want to do videos, but you're you're too afraid, right? You don't want to leave your comfort zone. You don't know what people would think of you if you went on air. You might get laughed at, right? Um, so those that's number two. You don't want to leave your comfort zone. Okay, number three is lying to yourself. Okay, like what do I mean by lying to yourself? I'm too tired. Uh, oh, I'm so exhausted. I've got a headache. Um, I just want to sit here. I just want to lie down for a few minutes, right? And we all know what happens when you lie down for a few minutes, right? You fall asleep. Um, distractions. Now, this is a big one. This could be uh, Skype calls, could be text, right? Um, you know, somebody texts you, somebody phones you. Uh, what I try and do is allocate blocks for doing certain stuff. And unless it's highly important, I will not get that call, right? Um, right now, my phone's in the other room, so it's not going to ring while I'm doing this. Um, so that's distractions is number four. Unmotivating. So you don't, you're not motivated at all, which means you probably want to, don't want to do what you're thinking of in the beginning, but there are, like your why isn't big enough to do it, right? You don't really have the motivation to do it. But there's also like a lack of energy, um, sleep and stressed out. So that could be by your diet, right? If you're not eating the proper foods, you're gonna be tired all the time, right? If all you do is drink pop and energy drinks and chips and junk food, yeah, you're gonna be tired. I, I know that because I've worked two jobs and I had energy drinks like all the time. And I was tired all the time, right? I had no energy. Um, so here's another one that's big for me, overwhelmed. You get overwhelmed and you're not sure where to start. So um, sometimes people tell you to do things, but they don't explain it very well. And there's all kinds of sidelines that you could do to that one thing, right? Um, I remember a while ago at another job, I was I, I had to train people how to load carts. And I would train everybody in exactly the same way. Uh, finally, I found the best way of training the people was to make a giant board and it explained everything like step one, step two, step three, step four, step five, right? Everything was explained clearly and everybody got the same training because I went through every step on it before they did their job, right? And just to prove a point, um, back then we had, um, there was a sort of contract and uh, Mexicans would come to the factory to help, right? Some of them could not speak English very well, but they understood exactly what to do because it was laid out like that, right? Um, so that's what I'm saying. Um, keep it simple. Keep it very simple for people to understand. Do it as if they were, you know, an eight-year-old kid, right? And explain things like that. Don't go way over their head and go, 
um, you know, well, if you need to know this, you need to know SEO, you need to know this, and you need to know that, and you need to know 20 other things, nobody's going to want to do anything because they're too overwhelmed. Um, so there's another little blurb to this. When eating an elephant, take one bite at a time. And that's Crichton Williams Abrams Jr., Chief of Staff of the U.S. Army in the 1970s. Another reason, another reason is that you know it'll take a lot of hard work and dedication. Uh, let's say you're starting a blog. A blog is a lot of work. You got to dedicate a lot of hours. You got a lot of dedicate a lot of time. You got to find your niche, right? And you got to write articles all the time on that niche. Now, if you have two or three niches, that's even more work, right? It's going to take a lot of hours, guaranteed, right? I've done it before, so I know. Uh, a lot of people don't want to do that. They're tired after they get home from work and they just want to flake out, sit on the couch, and they don't want to get in it. Well, that's fine if that's what you want to do. I don't. <clears throat> okay, the next one, there is pain involved, okay? So it could be an emotional pain um, or it could be a physical pain. Uh, let me explain. Um, so I just had my, my knee operated on and uh, uh, my left, uh, my right knee. So it's a total knee replacement. So I'm coming along good in my physio, you know, I'm, I'm to the point now where I can go to the gym. They want me to go to the gym to work on my knee. But um, the problem is when I sit on the ground, my leg's not quite straight. So I have to work on that. And I have to do that four times a day. And I usually sit with my leg on a foam roller and put weights on it to, to bring the leg down, right? Because if you sit like that long enough, your, your leg will go down, right? Or you could sit on two chairs. So the thing is, it is extremely painful to sit like that for 10 minutes for me right now. Eventually, I'll get over that because I know that because I had the other knee done, right? and eventually that pain subsides. But at the time you're doing it is, is extremely painful. So right now I put it off, right? Because I know I have to do this four times a day, 40 minutes total, right? And I know the pain that's gonna be there and I just don't wanna deal with it. I do do it, but sometimes I have to put the sessions closer together, which hurts me even more, right? Um, so that's what I'm trying to say. Um, I'm using physical pain, but it could be emotional pain as well, right? You know, like you don't want to look bad or something happened before, right? You did something and somebody laughed at you. I know I've done that. Uh, perhaps you've done that too. Um, so those are a few things and those are a few reasons that I've found and most of those, if not all, I have done, right? especially the perfectionism right you think it's a it's a great trait but in reality it might not be yes it's fine to have to take pride in your work but if you're not getting anything done that's not great either so that's it for today um thank you for listening thank you peter thank you gloria thank you maggie thank you helen and thank you debbie thank you very much for listening um, have an awesome day and take care. Thank you.